cases of eight handed down to Applegate from buccaneers who fought for years for gold doubloons and pieces of eight handed down in a pirate's chest the gold they sailed for east and west the treasure bright that made men fight till none were left to bury the chest so now the gold and pieces of eight all belong to Applegate the chest is here but wait now, where are those gold doubloons and pieces of eight, pieces of eight, pieces of eight? Today's episode in the mystery of the Applegate treasure, The Prisoner Speaks. Dad got him one right in the jaw, too. You should have seen it. Sully! Hey, take it easy, boy. You know what he said when the cops came and... What hit me? Oh, you should have seen it. Sully! We're going over and search his house in the morning, too. Sully! Who? Who? Why, that guy Bulls, of course. He used to be the gardener. Looks like he's the one who hit Jack Lee over the head. Uh, did what? Who did? You know, Applegate's old gardener from years ago. I bet he was the one that used our pick and shovel to get us in trouble. You just wait and see. Of course, but he won't admit it. He won't admit anything. Except that his jaw hurts. Sully! So I thought you said that, that he got hit on the head. Oh, Andy, you get everything mixed up. That was before we got there. See, Jacqueline must have bumped into him or something because he hit him and tied him up and... What? Well, to keep from being discovered, maybe. You see, he was hiding in the tower room, only when Dad came down the stairs, he jumped out the window and... Never mind, never mind. Don't tell me anything else. I'm sure that I would... Jumped out the window? <laughs> <laughs> now, Gertrude, there wasn't any danger. Okay, boys, let's get to bed, huh? Oh, Dad. We gotta tell Perry Robinson, haven't we? I mean, maybe this guy Bowles did everything. So then Perry wouldn't have to go back to the city. Maybe, but I'll take care of it. Now, run along, both of you. We've still got a lot of detective work ahead of us in the morning. Yeah. Wait till you hear how old man Applegate chased Iowa Morton with a dagger in his teeth. Good night. What? Belonged to pirates, Jean Lafitte. Just like all the gold in the treasure. Night. Good night, boys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you gave the boys a piece of your mind. <laughs> Obviously, there won't be any more of that mystery nonsense. I can tell that. Now, Gertrude, there just wasn't time to reprimand the boys. Well, I've been on the go from the second I got here. <laughs> Don't be silly. I saw how happy they were and impressed with you. Zowie! <laughs> uh, but what sort of awful mystery are they mixed up with? Oh, I'm sure it's just a false alarm. A stupid man like Bowles falls for a treasure talk even worse than the children do. He's been snooping around over there and just hasn't wanted to get caught at it, that's all. So you see, it may be a disappointment to the boys, but I suspect by tomorrow there really won't be any more of this mystery nonsense to worry about.
All right, come on, get up. So it's home, sweet home, is it? I say you'd better warm up those handcuffs. There's one of me old friends to the rescue. What? There was a time I could jump aboard that fast. Well, we'd better jump to where we we're supposed to be. Ah, that was the life. No wonder I was always a weedy kind of gardener. The grass always looking so green somewhere else. Well, well, still talking, huh? Well, why not? After the grand breakfast you gave me. Ah, oh, that's a lovely little jail you have in this town, Sergeant. You tell me you raised quite a ruckus last night. Warning about your bed and blankets, among other things. Yes, that, that's right. I, I, I forgot that. Ah, you know how it is the first time. Getting used to a new place, even the best of places. And me, me feet were bothering me something awful yesterday. Oh, why don't you shut it off, Bowles? You talk more and say less than anyone I ever met. Chief took a crack at him this morning, too, Sergeant. He didn't get anywhere, either. Oh, why should I say I'm guilty? Why should I admit to a lot of things that I never did? So now you're denying everything that happened over at Applegate's, huh? Oh, no, I don't. Now, don't you try putting your words into my mouth. It's not... Hey, it's not sanitary. No, oh, come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I want to make my position quite clear, that's all. Now, when it comes to things that's been done, and maybe there's laws against, I don't say I did them, and I don't say I didn't. Take him inside and wait in the hallway. They're busy with the landlady. Ha, who's busy? Well, for your information, Fenton Hardy is going through your room himself. Him and his sons both. That's why you're out here for questioning. Ah, uh -huh, yes. The sun's too. Let well, me we'll see if a real detective can find anything to make me talk. Oh, that's all right. Let's go. He really didn't have no wardrobe this time, you might say. Them spare socks of his, I wouldn't even call luggage. Dad, is this where Bowles lived ten years ago? That's right, son. Him and his friend Jenkins. Only my mother was landlady then, so I really don't know nothing about it. Jenkins? That's the friend Mr. Applegate said stole some stuff with Bowles once. Yeah, down by the rail yards, he said. Hey, that must have been near here. Somebody stole some homemade root beer is all I know about. Can I go now? Hey, Frank, maybe they were both in on swiping the treasure. Easy, son. Treasure? You mean like, like gold and things? <laughs> oh, why didn't you say there was a reason for asking so many questions? Never mind. All right, Sergeant, you can bring them up now. Look. Tell me some more about that treasure. You said... I said never mind. Now, you boys have got to remember that this man Bowles has never really been in any serious trouble before. He's not a regular criminal, you know. Say... That's all, lady. You're gonna give him the third degree, aren't you? Yeah, we didn't find anything just searching in his room. He's got to talk. And if he won't... Well, Joe, him. you can't make a man testify against himself. Huh? Tell on himself. In this country, everybody's protected by law, just like the property is. Why, the police couldn't even be in this room without a search warrant. We know that, but, but in the movies all the time... The Joe, guy... if you really think this man Bowles has done something serious, then it's up to you to prove it. That's what a detective's job is, to figure out what the crime is, find out who's guilty, and then prove it. Ah, yes. Proven things. That's the hard part. Because for that you need a corpus delicti. Don't you, Mr. Hardy? Corpse? Oh, no, no, lad. There's nobody dead. It's just legal words, that's all. But you know what it means? Just don't you two nippers go around accusing people of stealing treasure, see? I had enough trouble with that in the past. Because, first of all, no one in this town ever proved that there was such a corpus to steal. All right, lawyer. Stand over here. Hey, hey, easy with your shoving there. I've got feet that's killing me. Here's some notes from uh, what he had to say downtown. Thought you might like to look at them, sir. Know how long they kept me standing last night to be searched, Mr. Hardy? And now you're going to keep me some more. Well, we've just a few questions to ask you, that's all. Then give me blankets so short, a man has to keep his hard old shoes on all night. Never mind. I only thought you might let me sit down for a minute. At least you might reward me with the comfort of me old sneakers to wear back to the jail. That is, if they're still in the closet after all, you're searching. 
No. I've seen the sneakers, Sergeant. No guns or knives, if that's what you're thinking of. Bowles is putting an act on for the kids, is what I'm thinking. Clothes he's wearing must have been looked at downtown. Okay, go ahead. There, it uh, begins here. No, way back here. Is that all that? Wow. Lots of nothing, kid. Just lots of nothing. There. That's what they asked him. Did you strike Mr. Jackley over the head? Hey, he admitted he lived in the same place, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. I'm looking for what he might have said about last night. What a lovely jail you have here. What's that an answer to? Doesn't mean anything. Okay, Sergeant. I get the idea. All right, Bolts. Ah, what a relief. To be able to wiggle one's toes, that is. It's like getting rid of a worry, almost. And now, my young detectives, let's see you make an innocent man talk. Tomorrow's episode, A Strange Confession.